mayor in any city that belongs to this even knows who this guy is. But they're setting the agenda. They're completely setting the tone for all city council meetings and what happens in these cities. And I live in Boston as one of, the, one of those examples. Now, I've been traveling all for the last six months. This is my full-time job, and it's not my job to go into city halls and town halls, but it's something I might do uh, as, as time permits. I will visit towns that belong to ICLEI, towns and cities, looking for evidence. In some cases, it's awfully easy to find. The town of Dedham, it abuts Boston, it goes back to the 1600s, a lot of history there. The first canal in the country, Sacco and Vanzetti were tried in the courthouse there and found guilty. A lot of good things have Dedham pottery. And it's sort of a conservative, uh, somewhat Democrat, blue collar conservative, some nice homes, there's some unsustainable homes. And you'll find, by the way, most of the ICLEA towns are wealthy towns where people live in, you know, 100,000 square feet of housing, you know, two pools and five garages, okay? They don't realize that they're just, you know, destroying themselves. But what happened is Massachusetts passed the Green Communities Act two or three years ago. And if, you, if your town or city joins this, it goes by the guidelines, including joining the ICLEI. State of Massachusetts is encouraging people to violate the Constitution. We will give you taxpayers' money to help you implement it. Towns are going broke all over the country. They can't print money like the feds do. <clears throat> so they'll say, you know what? You know, you're a selectman. You don't want to lose your job. You don't want to be voted out. You take the money. And you use it, however, and you implement their agenda. Okay? Green companies only will build. Right? What's that term they use? Uh, green, a green company can only... Oh, the benefit corporation? Benefit, benefit corporation, yes. I remember by the third or fourth time I'll get it packed down pat, right? Mm -hmm. um, they're building a green school in Dedham now, right? Benefit corporation, a company that built that, right? And by the way, can you imagine, it's bad enough bribing people, you know, with your money. You know, I want to get a better position. I, but they're being bribed with our money. And what are they doing with it? They're just taking your freedoms away. And I went to the selectmen in this town. <clears throat> They'd never heard of Agenda 21. The town manager, and most of them are coming into the town managers too. The unelected town manager. And unaccountable. We're all familiar with the term Soviet. <laughs> a Soviet council is a group of unelected people that run. Well, this is what this is, folks. It's a Soviet council. We have one in Washington. <laughs> Here is the town of Newburyport, right about the a colonial town on the uh, North Shore of Boston, they only got $155,000. We have some people in Newburyport that want to go to court over this, what they're trying to do, with, what things they're trying to implement there, and I'm helping them with advice, and hopefully we get some of this <coughs> thrown out. Greenfield, another example, they got a little bit more, they got a lot of money. Greenfield is really into Agenda 21 there. This is the town of Marshfield. <coughs> Marshfield is a town that my people pioneered in the 1640s, right? You went to their town hall and it's all this greenscaper. You have to get a buy a compost pile, a buy not pile, but I mean a compost bin. But we never, we don't know how to compost. We live in Vermont, we don't know how to compost things, right? <clears throat> I tell you what we should put in that compost pile is copies of Agenda 21. That'd be the first thing I put in my compost pile. Uh, and it does, it's nice biodegradable stuff too. Um, I went to the town manager, went in there, his name is Rocco Longo, and I had a copy of this. And I said, I want to give you, I couldn't even finish my sentence. What do you think I'd be interested in that? You saw that, you know, Agenda 21. And I said, well, Marshall belongs to, I said, I know what it belongs to. I'm not interested. Well, you don't have to be rude. I'm not being rude. I'm just not interested. So I said, I grabbed his business card, you know, did a little research on him. International this, international that. He's the one that brought it in. And he's probably getting, you know, some benefits because of it. He brought it in, unelected official brought it in to Marshall. All right? So... Uh, what else do I have? I'll just, uh, yeah. Uh, this is what it looks like when you join the ICLEI. And I, you can't read it from here. I did put it up on my script page. I'll give you the, the link to it. And it basically looks like you're signing your, time over, signing your town over to this international organization. Now, the ICLEI, they'll say they're an NGO or they're a corporation, but only governments. It's a government to government entity. That's why I say it's a violation of our Constitution. It's one thing if it was a private entity, and private citizens belonged, but governments belong to it. And they consider, if you belong, if your town is an ICLEA town, you're a member of ICLEI. They'll tell you they represent you. And you didn't vote for them, did you? It, uh, it's all about uh, carbon footprint. That's the whole guy's this climate change. As I said earlier, there is no man-made global warming. And even if, 
even if the world, the, the amount of gas we put in the environment is so infinitesimal that it will have no impact. Yeah, point zero 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 one. Yes. Right. One six. Yeah, so the, the request of citizens from ICI cities for climate protection campaign as it progresses through the milestones. That's they don't use the word radical change. They use milestones. That sounds very nice. It sounds safe, doesn't it? What's wrong with the milestones? Okay. Kingston, uh, Kingston, Massachusetts, same thing there. Kingston goes green, 2010. And uh, not only that, but you go there and they, they'll have uh, brochures to join the Nature Conservancy. That is the NGO. And do you see there to join, uh, uh, you go to your town hall, the application to join the John Birch Society? What about, you see any information against Agenda 21? Well, why not? That's my challenge to you. These town halls belong to whom? Sustainable Rutland? Not just Sustainable Rutland. What you see here is, uh, this is Wellesley, Massachusetts, saying you've you got a big display of uh, Rachel Carson's book, Silent Spring. You know, if we, we have to ban DDT or the world's going to come to an end. Well, DDT was banned. And what happened? Millions of people have gotten malaria and some of them died. But thanks to the uh, core con Congress of Racial Equality, we met these folks, Henry, we met Roy Innes, and we met the trench doctor, and I wish, uh, I wish I could remember his name, Paul Resnow, I think it is. He, and he testified in some of these countries in Africa, and they bring a DDT back. You know, so it's, it's a relatively safe thing that saves lots of lives. And these are black people, and part, I said part of this is to, to, um, to uh, population control. Sub-Saharan Sub Africa has, very, has really no population explosion problem, but most of the UN population programs are centered in Sub-Saharan Africa. So then they call us racists because, you know, they're the racists. They're the elitists. Green campaign. Oh, uh, yeah, this was, uh, this was in Indiana, in Indianapolis, Indiana. They don't belong to the ICLEI, but they have an office, the mayor's office of sustainability. It was downtown, the lady was passing out these little coloring books. I picked one up, and it was a nice young lady. I said, have you ever heard of Agenda 21? I had no idea. I hand, I'm always carrying stuff around with me. I handed, uh, handed a few things. And this was a, this is geared towards elementary school. And everything in there is good advice, by the way. I'm not saying that what they're saying is wrong, but they're trying to condition children to accept this. And uh, some of the things you'll see, like uh, the school newspaper in Boston, uh, <coughs> US Post Office is going green. It's promoting Agenda 21. The average clerk in there at night, they don't, they don't even know about it. You know, you see the stamps? Green stamp, not the kind you used to put in little uh, little booklets and get appliances. You know, save the planet. Buy green these stamps and go green. But you don't see much in these town halls about saving the Constitution, do you? Saving our freedom. You don't see these children's coloring books like this one. <coughs> Global warming. Uh, now hear this. Oh, here's a who. By the way, that movie, I'm not a big fan of, of Dr. Seuss's stuff. When my, six, my daughter was 15, she said, hell, daddy can say hell. Daddy, that movie's pro-life. I said, you know what? It is. I don't know if they, you know, Holt could only hear these little tiny things, and, and, and he was able to defend them and save them. I said, you know what, you're going to point there. I don't know if that's what they intended, but that's what she got out of it. Well, now Horton is a big uh, Al Gore supporter, I guess. He's changed. He got, he got politically correct. So kids are getting this propaganda. Interesting that uh, our camp I mentioned, Camp Constitution, we had a nice front page article in the National Transcript New Hampshire newspaper a few days after the camp. Very favorable article. And the online version, some of the trolls that comment, some of the liberal type trolls or those brainwashed trolls. Um, there's some liberals who, hey, they don't have, don't have a problem with it. That's your thing. Go ahead and do it. But they said that this camp uh, brainwashes children, right? And I, I responded, I said, oh no, you must have us mistaken for a public school. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff they get in public schools, and it's really in their face. It's not. It's not. It's hardcore stuff. It's pervasive. Businesses, corporations, construction companies. Here's an example of one. Proud to be one of New England's leading green contractors since 1905. How can they only put this on maybe the last couple of years? Because they want to be a benefit corporation and get that contract. I doubt that Mr. Consigli or whoever is the CEO even knows anything about this. He just wants to get the contract. He's got a, he's got a payroll to make. Solarize Massachusetts. Everyone's going solar, right? Like my mother did 50 years ago with the clothesline. Like you folks are up the street here with your solar panels. Um, <clears throat> what's the old saying? Solar's all right, but nukes do it all night. 
And <laughs> they, have, they have solar energy. They have something with at least maybe the city of Rutland. You have to probably take a good chunk of the rest of the county just to get enough panels. And you don't have a lot of sun up there, do you? But you know, hydroelectric, like hydroelectricity. Let's use that, right? That's just, that's sustainable, right? Well, no, it's not. Not according to Agenda 21 people. They're tearing down these uh, hydroelectric dams. They're getting rid of them as quickly as they can. Why? Because that's not the way it was when Columbus, before Columbus got here. And some of these uh, hydroelectric dams, uh, you've got uh, quite an interesting habitat of wildlife. These mill ponds, they, they're going to disrupt all that, and they don't care. You see, they don't care. 